Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Ryan Amancio, and for the people that are new, I race a J Day and GNCC, and in J Day I do Super Mini, and in GNCC I do YXC2. And today I'm here, I'm doing Junior B. Uh, I also do Junior B at J Day. And we, this weekend we were here at uh, Doza Memorial, I call it River Rush, because that's what it used to be called before, and, um, yeah. So, first moto here in Junior B, get a pretty good start, uh, I started in second. I didn't have my dad at the start, because, um, a friend of ours, Josaltu, he had to get a front sprocket change right before the start, so, my dad was changing that for him as, uh, I was starting, and, luckily, he finished the front sprocket just in time. Anyway, I started having a rough day in Junior B by this. Um, I really did, and I accidentally throttle, got off balance, and just hit my head pretty hard. So uh, I wasn't feeling too good for this first lap, but I was able to catch up. Um, not too, not too far. But um, some people went down right there. I'm pretty sure uh, Charlie was one of them. But uh, yeah, so now we're back in the back of the pack and I have to make my way back up. This track here is really, really technical. Um, really hard to ride fast and not make a mistake. In the super mini class, I was able to do it a little easier. Oh, that's Chad Lever. Just so you guys see how rough the shack was, it was really dangerous. Um, it would just bite you um, whenever you would make a tiny mistake. But yeah, I also um, uh, I also got bit pretty hard second moto, as you guys will see more towards the end of the video. Um, what uh, made my day a little worse, but. I had a lot of fun this week. I learned a lot. I learned a lot on how to be patient and not be pushing like a maniac. So, um, yeah, living you learn, I guess, and that's what I learned this weekend. Had a lot of fun, though. I went one, two, four, second overall. So at Southwick, I have to win. If I don't win, I lose the championship. If I do win, I do win the championship. So we'll see um, what I can pull off at Southwick. Been training really, really hard this week. And um, for the people that know, after the crash, I was limping a little bit. Um, I just want to thank you guys for the messages that I got and everything. I am feeling better. I can actually walk now. That's like not limping. So we are basically good. Here, that kid in front of me, he uh, goes a little too fast and passes the rut, and I was able to make the pass, and that puts me into third. So here we go. Uh, right after the finish, Robbie, I don't know what, uh, he just took the inside and I took the outside and just powered me my way in front of him. And now we got one more person and that's who's right in front of me, that's Patrick. Um, you will see he also makes a lot of mistake and I was able to capitalize on that and uh, make my say, myself right back into the lead. You can see here he slides out. I, I don't even know how that was possible, but he slid out there and just had a really bad run up that hill. So I was able to take the lead and already open up the gap a little bit. So for the people that don't know, no, J Day is uh, two 30 minute motos. Um, well, supposedly two 30 minute motos. Oh, another person down there. And um, the problem I'm having a little bit now is. Uh, JDA, they aren't making their motos 30 minutes. Um, now they're just making it anything random. Uh, like my first motor here for Junior B, it was 21 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes. That's 10 less minutes that we should have done. 
we could have done a good three four laps um more for the first moto and for the second moto i'm pretty sure it was 27 minutes i'll have a picture up um but i don't really understand why they're doing that and uh for the people that um, know i broke both of my wrists um earlier this year so i missed a few races i missed three races and um it's not really fair in my opinion because if you crash for example and they end the race at like 20 minutes or 25 minutes uh, i feel like it's not fair for the people that uh, for example crash in the beginning and won't have enough time to make their way back up because they end the moto earlier so i don't know how i feel about that i'm a little frustrated with about that because second moto i crashed got hurt but more towards the end on like final lap i was able to start catching back up but it wasn't enough time for me to catch up to patrick i'm not saying that if there was 30 minutes i would have caught him but i'm saying it could have been closer and uh yeah it's just not fair in my opinion because in the rule book it says thir two 30 minute motos but I don't know, leave a comment on what you guys think about this, I don't uh, really know. Uh, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan about that, but it, it happens I guess, so uh, let me learn, and hopefully J-Day will change that for 2023 and actually have the 30 minute motos, because um, they, they were doing their motos around 28 minutes, 27 minutes, which is almost alright, but our first motor was 21 minutes. That's crazy, crazy short. So, uh, hopefully they don't do that for Southwick. And, yeah. Anyway, we're back. We're here in the lead. We're catching up to some more um, AVET, a senior riders. Um, right here, I make the pass on both of them, actually. Taking this outside. Yeah. Here, um, this guy, he was kind of tightening me out of, um, uh, kind of blocking me, so I yelled, and he moved out of the way, thankfully, and, um, we were able to get by those both lap riders, and this other lap rider right here, we were able to get by him at this hill, nice and done. I actually want to thank you for all those, uh, the people that get out of my way um, for both of these motos when I'm on the big bike because um, for the people that don't know when I race I have a vet and a senior riders uh, that start in front of me so I just want to give a big thanks to to them uh, for the people that get out of my way make my life a little bit easier and make your life a little bit easier because as you saw there I ref behind the guy and the guy got scared I think and almost hit a tree, and yeah, it's got all squirrely. So, big thanks, everyone. Anyway, finish first moto, P1, and now second moto. So, my dad, he was wanting to put a rock under my foot so it'd be a little higher, but I was okay with um, how high I was already. So, here I start, and I shift all the way left. I lost, like, uh, I don't even know, I think I lost traction or something when off the start, I just shifted all the way left. But anyway, got the whole shot, and um, the plan was to just ride my race and just be smart. As you guys see, uh, this moto will not go according to plan. So this track here is really, really beat up. Uh, I'm, I wish the GoPro would make more justice of how bad this track was. Uh, it was really ruddy, uh, rooty, big bumps all over the place, loose rocks everywhere. I mean, it was dangerous. A lot of people went down here, and a lot of people got hurt, sadly. Um, 
today I found out that Andrew from A250, and he was in Pro in 25, he also, he broke his tib tibia, I'm pretty sure, or he broke his leg, um, case, he cased the triple, uh, my friend Casey, and he also broke his tibia, I think, um, on the triple, he, he cased the triple, he over jumped the double and cased the triple, and the bike just sent him flying, uh, so hope both of them recover and heal up fast. Here I almost see it, lost the bike right there, but was able to save it. So yeah, that was the, that little triple there. I wasn't tripling it, I didn't triple it once that whole day. Um, Almost got there with Vinny, a friend of mine. Almost got into him right there, but uh, we were luckily able to avoid him. There's my dad yelling at me, uh, cheering me on. I I was catching the overall. The guys that were in the uh, first place overall, I was catching them physically. And I, if I didn't crash and I kept going to that pace, I would have uh, caught him. Now for what I think most of the people want to see. Um, pay attention, okay? So here we're closing up on this hill um, behind this lapper. Uh, I'm pretty sure he takes this inside line, I take this outside line, and I go way too fast. And here I hit a root and just got chucked. So as you guys see there, I was desperate for the guy to turn on my bike. Um, Yes, I was a little rude there. I apologize to him later in the day um, during podiums, but um, I was desperate to get on the bike for two reasons. One, when you crash and you get hurt, the longer you take to get back on your bike, the more hurting you will be. And two, um, the championship's on the line. As you saw, Patrick got by me, and uh, I almost got past. Look how um, my f my handlebars, they were so twisted, it was bad. Uh, my handlebars, they were like a little bit to the left, and um, I was going perfectly straight, which was crazy, so. Um, we finished off this race, I got second place and second overall on the day, but thank you guys so much for watching, if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.